Hello weavers, welcome to my weaving triangles lesson where you will learn how to make the basic triangle shape in tapestry weaving. First we will weave two triangles side by side and then an inverted triangle to fill in the gap between these two triangles. The base of the triangles will be worked across 10 warp threads with a gap of two warp threads between triangles. For the purposes of this tutorial I will allow a selvage of two warp threads However, if you want your triangles to span the whole width of your weaving, as shown in this photo, leave only one warp thread at each end. First, we are going to place a short piece of yarn between the warp threads to mark out the width of the triangle base. First, the right thread, and then counting 10 warp threads, place the second marker thread. Next, we thread about 1.3 metres of two strands of a DK weight wool yarn on a wool needle and continue working in plain tabby weave pattern across the 10 threads, making sure you follow the over and under pattern established in the weaving below your triangles. Pull the thread through until you are about 6 centimetres from the end and then push the end to the back so that the first thread is in the correct position for your next row. Then tap the yarn down in place with either a tapestry bobbin or a fork. Before you come back for the second row, bring the yarn end back to the front and over the second warp thread to secure the end. Next, come back and work the second row of tabby stitch, ensuring that you only work over 10 warp threads. Make sure that you bubble the yarn a little so that the weaving does not pull in too much. Then work another six rows of tabby so that you have worked a total of eight rows. The yarn should be sitting on the right hand side of the triangle base. Now we will start shaping the triangle towards its apex. Commence the next row as for the previous rows. However, at the end, do not weave the last warp thread. Pull through the yarn and tap down as before. Then when coming back for the next row, make sure you do not weave the far left hand warp thread. Similarly, when you get to the right side of the triangle, do not pick up the far right hand thread. Continue weaving in tabby across these eight warp threads for another six rows. Each narrower section of the triangle will consist of eight rows of weaving. This will ensure that the triangle tapers evenly. If you wish to have a longer or taller triangle, you can increase this to 10 or 12 rows of weaving. You will find that with every alternate block within the triangle, the yarn will naturally fall to the front of the warp thread that you need to skip, as shown here. Simply miss that warp thread and the one on the left hand side. However, make sure that you still work the same number of rows as you did for the previous block. Continue in this pattern of working eight rows and then narrowing by skipping a thread on each side of the weaving until you have worked a total of four separate sections as shown here. The final eight rows will be worked over just two warp threads and you can simply use your fingers to tap the yarn down as shown here. Next, we will use the same technique to weave a triangle to the left of the first one. Make sure that you leave a space of two warp threads between the triangles. Mark out your triangle again with the small pieces of thread and using a new color, Weave the second triangle exactly as you wove the first one. Once completed, your two triangles should look like this. Now we are going to fill the gap between the two triangles with an inverted triangle in this lovely turquoise colour. This time we start the weaving in the opposite direction, inserting the needle from left to right under the appropriate thread. Tuck the yarn in towards the back and continue working over and under the two warp threads as you did for the top of the first two triangles. 
weave eight rows in this way and then increase the width of the weaving by one thread on either side so that the next section is worked across four warp threads as I'm showing you here. Continue working this way that is eight rows of each section increasing one warp thread each time until you have completed eight rows of the last section over the ten warp threads. You will now have completed your inverted triangle. Try experimenting with different size triangles. My mother Marta Cantos was an avid tapestry weaver and wove this giant triangle as part of a weaving triptych. For more weaving lessons please visit and subscribe to my Weave with Pat YouTube channel and for unique yarns and crafting ideas visit www.patriciacantosdesign.com